Hello YouTube and welcome to this and basically update video from my previous videos which is for X360 uh, CE application program. That program is for emulating the Xbox 360 game controller. So basically you can convert any game controller. Okay, most of game controllers like steering wheel, gamepad, joystick, whatsoever, into the Xbox controller. So because some games require only the Xbox controller on the personal computer, laptop, wherever you are playing the games. And there are many differences between the previous version, which was version number three, where I already created a tutorial on it. You can watch it if you want. But this new version, which is version number four, uh, it has many changes. First, the number four is system wide and you need only one program for whole computer. It basically creates a virtual new game controller inside your computer when you run the program so you can use your favorite game controller on your favorite game. Uh, uh, other thing is that you do not need, um, let's say, separate program for 32 and for 64-bit games. Uh, what else? Um, there is some other things I, don't, I cannot remember. Okay, basically there is several things. And today I will uh, show you how to download, okay, find, download, install, open. Uh, and configure it. So stay tuned. I will be right back after this intro video. So let's start. So very first thing to do is just to download the application. To download it, I need to open some web browser. In my case, I have here Mozilla Firefox. I will just open it by double click on mouse button. You may have only one click to open it, depending on your Windows settings. So over here, you can either just here in URL, just type in x360ce.com, press enter key, and you are on the website. But also, you can use your favorite search engine. In my case, I have here also Google. And inside the search box, just type in x360ce. Press Enter key on the keyboard. And here it is. x360ce.com controller emulator. Just click on it and you get to the same website. Over here, I will just click download for all games and this window pops up. I want to save it to my computer and just click OK. Version 3 you can also use but it is outdated. I suggest that you use number 4. One another thing on this website is that you can just click up here in main menu version 4.x download and help. If you click on it, here you get import notice, how to install and use, etc, etc, etc. So now let's just open the folder where this downloaded file program is. I will just click this folder icon over here. And here it is. Now I will just extract it. Just right mouse button click on it and you can use either Windows 10 built-in extract all function but I will use the 7z program that I already had on my computer and now I will just click extract here and that is the program that I will use. 
One thing before I do anything, I would suggest that you set this program to run always as administrator. So I will raise mouse button, click on it, click on properties, go to compatibility tab up here and select uh, run this program as administrator. When you are done, just click OK. Now I can move this file wherever I want to move it. I will just right mouse button click on it, click cut. And let's say I will move it to desktop. You can move it wherever you want. You can then create a shortcut to your desktop or whatsoever you want. So here I will just right mouse button click and click paste to paste what I cut. And here is the program. Now I can minimize this window and here it is. I will double click on it or single click again depends on your system configuration. You need to wait a little bit. Don't stop. And now click add under the controller one tab selected. I will select the Logitech racing steering wheel that I have at selected device. Next is to go under the issue tab. As you see, here I have uh, one issue. Now virtual device driver, we need to install it. Just for information, here is the issue. A virtual gamepad emulation driver needs to be installed, so uh, this program could be system wide. So I will click install button. Wait a little bit. Okay, it still needs a little bit of time to do its thing. And here it is, it is installed. So now when this issue was fixed, let me show you one thing. If I go to start menu and just type game, I can click set up USB game controllers. When I click on it, as you see here, Controller, controller Xbox 360 for Windows. It is OK. But if I close the window, controller disappears. When I open it, controller will appear shortly. Here it is. <laughs> OK, now that we cover this, let's go to setting up the wheel or whatever game controller you have. One thing that you can use is auto button down here. That is for automatically assign the buttons. But in some cases it is doing some strange association. <laughs> so let me show you. If I click auto, do you want to fill all controller one settings automatically? I will click yes because I want to. And here it is. But the problem is if I press acceleration, you see, it is going to a Y stick, but if I want to turn the wheel, there is nothing, absolutely nothing. If I press the brake, it goes for the axis 6, I mean for trigger. <laughs> so what to do in this case? You know what, I will clear all those settings that are set by clicking clear button down here. Yes, I want to clear all the settings. And now I can just start typing in stuff. So I believe that those two buttons are for acceleration and this acceleration. So if I click, press acceleration. If I click this one, this acceleration. You see? It's great. It is working. Here I can go left and right for the wheel. So left left axis, axis 1, as you see, go right, and you see, left and right, it is working. Next, I, I can go and go, let's say this for blinker, button 5, and let's populate these buttons quickly.
And here it is. The basic configuration is done. Now you can just open up the game and try to use it. But remember, this window needs to be opened all times if you want to use the program. So I can just minimize and start up the program. Now I will switch to my main computer to show you how it works. So here I have the Mafia 2 game. Before I continue the game, let's just click options, controls, and then customize controller. And here you have all the buttons, what each button does. <laughs> does. <laughs> um, and now you can co uh, configure your X360 controller depending on your needs. You can also change control set if you want. And now let's just start the game. Let's go to additional content and I will just continue just adventures just to show you working with the steering wheel. <laughs> In my case, of course. We need to wait a little bit. And now, let's say if I turn the steering wheel a little bit, you see, it is going slow. Faster, I turn, uh, more I turn, faster it will go, left and right. But let's go into the car, I will use the keyboard. And... And I will turn off the radio so I do not get copyright claim or something. <laughs> okay, so here you see if I press the pedals for the speed and turn the wheels, it is working. I can try the other buttons. You see, phone working, camera switching. Buttons are working. Speed limit. And that's it. I hope you are enjoying this. So, welcome to the end of this video. I know I am a terrible singer, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So, um, if you did not understand something, want to know something more, just to say hi, whatsoever, type everything below this video in the comment section. Next, if you want not to get notified about new videos, don't forget to subscribe and click bell icon, of course. If you like the video, give big thumbs up, if you did not, you know, give thumbs down and share with others so others can learn also. And until next time, have a blast people and see ya. Bye bye. Peace. Over and out. Hey. Ooh.